So in this video, I'm going to show you the S-Ride M500C 12-speed derailleur, cassette, shifter, um, chain setup. So the unique thing about this is it's about $130 US with shipping off AliExpress for the cassette, chain, shifter, and derailleur. Really cheap one by setup, that's for sure. Actually, the uh, narrow wide chain ring is included too and has some different configurations like I think it's 30 or 32, 34 tooth, maybe something else too. I can't exactly remember. So this cassette is amazing looking. I don't know about working, I haven't tested it yet. It's 11 to 52 tooth. It fits on a normal free hub and it, I, I'll play the video next but uh i even had it fit on a 10 speed free hub so this this free hub is i also got this off aliexpress it's a cheap uh hub uh 50 us dollars uh comes in some different configurations also i'll link it too can't remember what it's exactly called i don't think the name exactly matters either but um you can tell that it's uh it was supposed to be 11 speed free hub which it is you can tell by uh, the 11 tooth cog bottoms out on the uh, free hub here and then there's some play in this second cog so uh, I gotta put this the spacer came with the hub I gotta put that on down here um so just give you an idea this is the build this is what's included for the 130 US is cassette derailleur shifter chain 12 speed chain which is a five point five or f around around 5.5 millimeter uh pin length i like to measure that because that is the part that matters um and chain ring so that's the setup there also comes with this uh derailleur uh extender which shimano calls it shadow uh, I also got uh, some spokes off AliExpress for $12 US with nipples, whatever. They're not DT spokes, but I don't want to spend $40 or $60 on DT. This came with the hub, the skewer. Uh, this is a, a 135 by 10 millimeter hub. You can get it in the Boost also. Not that that matters, I'm just trying to do this as cheap as possible. Uh, this 29er rim is an e13 trs i got it for 69.99 canadian not us so that's canadian 70 dollars canadian 29 by 30 millimeter 32 hole matching the hub which is 32 hole uh, i guessed on spoke length because i didn't have hub measurements because they don't give that i got a 292 millimeter spoke here's the build uh it's a trek a 2018 trek Marlin 7 uh, is a 29er, obviously. Um, right now it's shifting perfect with the Shimano Acera 9 speed. You know. Don't have any brakes on it yet. Um, so I'm going to take all that off. I'm actually going to have to change the crank because it's not a 104 BCD crank. Um, it is uh, riveted on. So I'm gonna switch over the crank. It's a low end crank, you know, square taper. I don't even want that. Uh, rest of the bike, you know, pretty low end. Tektro brakes. I think they're sixty dollars each, brand new, or seventy dollars each, brand new. Um, that's not the issue here. That's not what I'm reviewing. I'm, I'm reviewing the uh, the cassette derailleur, the drive train. That's what matters. Chain ring cassette, derail and whatnot. I think they came out with a 13 speed if I remember correctly. Uh, I can't find it for sale anywhere yet. It was uh, on a pink bike article I saw. I think it was a, uh, a concept as in it's, in, it's, in it's designing stages still even though I saw it months and months ago. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you the build here. I'll, I'm gonna build up this wheel, I'm gonna show you that and uh, we're gonna go from there and then I'll I'll give some riding feedback and whatnot after. 
So here I got the 12 speed cassette uh, mounted on a free hub that has that is meant for 8 to 10 speed. So it's it's compatible with everything, which is crazy because usually anything 11 speed or newer needs an 11 speed uh, free hub. So the threads are right there. Uh, with an 11 speed free hub, you'll have to put a spacer behind the cassette. How they get away with this is if you can see those uh, three big rings are offset so the spokes come into the wheel and come away from the hub so it gives it space. Like so. Yeah, it's uh, 8 to 10 speed free hub. So here's the wheel all built up. It built pretty easy. Uh, nipples weren't the highest quality, but uh, other than that, it was pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to mount the cassette and get the derailleur and everything on here and the crank. So I had to order cranks because my uh, stock ones didn't have a uh, four bolt BCD, they were riveted so you can't change the chain ring. Um, I got these cheap guys off eBay, um, IXF, that's the company name. Um, yeah, kind of a rip off of Shimano, kind of looks like hollow tech, I think it's the same diameter too. Um, probably not near as good but right now they feel pretty nice in the hand and <laughs> I wish Shimano would learn to... Actually, Shimano may send tools with their um, end caps now. I can't remember. And then it came with uh, this bottom bracket also. It was, again, pretty cheap for what it is. So hopefully it doesn't snap. But yeah, I'm going to install that and then uh, get it going. Okay, so here I got it all set up. Crank. Narrow wide chain ring that came with the... Uh, drivetrain, chain that came with the drivetrain, 12 speed chain, and uh, everything's set up. So I'm gonna just run through the gears. Uh, the derailleur is, I'm not sure what you'd call it, but I'd call it a clutch derailleur just because it has such a tight spring. Like this is really hard to push down on. It has a really tight spring to keep the chain really tight so it doesn't come off the narrow wide chainery but you cannot take that off like Shimano derailleurs or whatnot. You cannot disengage the clutch. So here we go. Yeah, shifts, shifts pretty much perfectly out of the box. Um, can't say I have any problems with it right now. Haven't really rode it, so uh, I'm gonna take it on some road tests and uh, on some trails and see how it is. So I took it out for a ride. Um, worked a lot better than I thought it would based on the price. Don't get me wrong, again, it's not a Shimano XTR top of line stuff or a SRAM but it it shifts clean it works well under hard pressure um, shifts up well shifts down well everything's actually pretty good um, I can't say for the uh, longevity of the the rel reliability once it gets you know you put 500 kilometers on it or whatever but uh out of the box, it works great. Uh, I really, really can't complain at all. Uh, I'd actually, I'd actually really recommend it for, especially for the price. Um, if you're looking for a budget option, it's, uh, it's a great setup. Um, yeah, it's great at climbing, great at everything. So, yeah, that's it. Um, Thanks for watching. Uh, if, if anyone else ever gets any set up like this, 
don't don't hesitate to comment. Let you let me know your thoughts. Also, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll try to answer them best I can. Uh, I don't have many trails around here, so I'm not going to put a whole lot of hours on it. So I can't really get a full long review like I'm not riding at 500 kilometers and then saying. But as of the first few kilometers or 10 kilometers, I'm actually really happy with it. Anyways, thanks for watching.